guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because I am doing a collab with my friend on YouTube, Samantha Izundu. If you haven't checked out her channel before, you need to because there are a lot of similarities between us. First of all, she's an Aussie content creator. She has super fair skin and red hair and she loves drugstore makeup. Samantha's upload schedule is on fire as well. There is always something new to watch. So make sure you go and check out her channel. I will have her Instagram and her YouTube linked down below. So for this collab, what we've done is chose some makeup for each other from our favorite store, Priceline. I am so excited to try these products out. I haven't used any of them before. And if you wanna see what I chose for Samantha, make sure you go and check out her video. If you're new here and you've come from Samantha's channel, thank you so much for checking out out my video. I hope that you like my content and you choose to subscribe. I really appreciate it. All right, well, let's get into it. First up, I have a foundation and this is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Glow. Now I have tried just the regular Photo Ready Candid Foundation. It was a long time ago, so I can't remember my thoughts, but this one is glowy. Now I picked up the shade 120. This isn't the fairest in the range, but it had a neutral undertone whereas the fairest had a cool undertone. So I thought I'd get this and I can just lighten it up with some lightning drops if need be. It claims to have a light buildable coverage and I'm expecting a very fresh and glowy look. So let's see. So this is what the shade looks like. I think it might be all right. Let's just go for it. When I apply foundation, I like to just go ahead and evenly spread it all over first. By the way, I haven't applied any primer. When I'm first trying a foundation, I don't like to because I want to see how the foundation performs just on its own. And then I can go ahead and like make any adjustments if I need to. Okay, so I'm getting quite a light coverage. No foundation, foundation. Okay, so as you can see with these pimps down here. It has covered a lot of the redness, but you can still see them. So it's giving a very, very natural look. A little bit of coverage, but very natural. I used to be a full coverage hoe. <laughs> like I wouldn't wear anything that wasn't full coverage, but my taste has definitely started to change. And I do like more of a medium coverage. I can definitely do light coverage. It depends how my skin is that day. You know, if I've got some big pimps, I do like to cover them up, but I am loving a more natural kind of finish these days. All right. Well, I am digging it. It has added enough coverage to get rid of the redness, but my skin still looks very natural. Like you probably couldn't even tell I've got anything on. I think the shade was a pretty decent match and I am loving the subtle glow that it gives. See that on my cheeks there? It's like, wow, look at my naturally healthy, glowy skin. I think in the future, I would use an anti-redness primer and probably cover up some of the big blemishes that I already have. That way I'd get a little bit more of an even base, but I think this foundation definitely has potential and my skin looks really nice. I just put on some concealer, powder and brows. I will list all the other products that I'm using in the description box. On to the next product. This is the Models Prefer Soft Touch Mineral Powder and this is in the Glow 2 shade. So it does have three different powders. You've got Luminous Glow, which is the lightest one, Soft Focus and then Cool Bronze. I just swatched all three of them separately. So you've got the lighter shade, the bronze, and this one kind of looks like it could be a blush. I'm going to take majority of the cool bronze shade with a little bit of the lighter powder. And let's just go in and use it as a bronzer. I'm not really sure what this product is meant to be. Let me just search it up first. So it says that it's a three in one mineral powder to effortlessly enhance sculpt and add a soft focus to finish your complexion. I know that they have other powders that are just one shade and I've heard really good things about those being dupes for the hourglass powders. Okay, to be honest, I'm not overly fussed on that, but I think that it has left a really nice finish to the skin. Next on the list, I have a product by The Balm and this is the Hot Mama Blush. 
I haven't tried much from the balm. I think I've only tried the Mary Luminizer because remember when like, well, when I first got into makeup, that was like a real big thing. So I'm excited to try this. It's a very nice shade and I do believe it has a little bit of a sheen to it as well. It's got a nice amount of pigment to it and it's blending out really well. I can definitely see the gold sheen. Look at that little glow on my cheek. Oh, I like it. I'm really loving that shade as well. It's a very natural flushed kind of shade. Also, this is just a mini size. Isn't it so cute? I love when there's mini products to try out. You don't have to go in and buy the full size, especially a blush. Like who goes through a full blush? I think I've been through like one in my lifetime. <laughs> the next product I'm trying out is the Rimmel Magnifies Eye Primer. Now, I don't think I've ever actually used a specific eye primer. I always just go in with a concealer. So this says that it intensifies eyeshadow, it's crease, smudge, and transfer proof. Now, it does have a bit of a tint to it. Oh, okay, okay, oh, this is interesting. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> okay, let's just put it on and see. Let's see what happens. So it's definitely giving coverage, and I like that because it covers up all the veins <laughs> under my eyelid and gives a nice even base for the eyeshadow. And to stick with products from Priceline, I'm going to go in with the Astralis Glamour Palette. I'm just starting with a skin tone shade just to set the primer. All right, well, I am really liking that product. I think it's very important to use an eyeshadow primer of any sort. I think I like that a bit better for everyday use rather than a concealer because with a concealer, they are pigmented. And so I feel like you have to be really precise around the brows. Whereas because that's not super pigmented like a concealer, it just kind of blends into the skin. I don't know if I'm describing that very well, but I think that will be a way better option and like less work if I just wanted to do a quick eyeshadow look for work or something. The eyeshadows are blending really beautifully on top of it. Everything looks super smooth as well, which is very nice. I've seen that product in Priceline for years, but have just never been drawn to it. Look at what I was missing out on. All right, I'm just going to quickly finish the eyes, maybe put a little shimmer on the lid and do under the lash line, and then I'll be back to try out the final product. For lipstick, I have this one by L'Oreal in the shade I Empower. Now it is quite a peachy nude. I think I might pair it with a lip liner. It might just be a bit too light. So I'm going to be using my Rimmel Lasting Finish in the shade Tiramisu. First of all, I love the wand. This is so lightweight. It feels like water on the lips. Mm. That has dried down to a matte finish, but this seriously feels weightless. You would not believe that this is a matte lipstick. I really like that shade too. It's a very nice, natural, peachy nude. I cannot get over this formula. If you've tried this, let me know down below because I am... <sighs> Wow. <laughs> All right, well, this is the completed look. I really enjoyed playing with these new makeup products that Samantha picked out for me. My favorite, I'm really enjoying the formula of this lipstick. Like as soon as I put it on, it just, it felt like water. So weird. The soft touch powder by Models Prefer, I'm not 100% on, but I really enjoyed all of the other products and I can't wait to use them again. If you have any questions or thoughts on the products that I used, leave me a comment down below. If you did come over from Samantha's channel, thank you again for checking out my video. I really hope you subscribe to my channel and to all my lovely regular viewers, thank you so much for being here. Make sure you go and check out Samantha's channel if you haven't already. All right, well, I am excited to be back. I have set up my new field Filming room. If you haven't seen that vlog, I'll link it down below. We are in our new house. We have settled in mostly. <laughs> I think it's time to get back to regular programming. So if you have any other video requests that you want to see from me, leave me a comment down below. I do have a lot of new drugstore makeup that I want to try and show you. I've got a lot from Essence, Ulta 3, some NYX. I just really can't wait to get back into the makeup game again. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> 
All right, well, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, and I hope to see you in the next one. Ow, bit my tongue. Bye.